Coming up next on Access Framingham TV is Framingham Fan to Fan, where we discuss all things sports in Framingham. Today we're talking with three players from the Framingham State women's basketball team. It's going to be great. Stay tuned. This is Framingham Fan to Fan on Access Framingham TV. I'm Dave Hornfisher, a Framingham sports fan, and I'm pleased to host this interview show whose purpose is to highlight those who are involved in Framingham sports at all levels. In doing so, we hope to increase awareness and ideally fan support of these fun sporting events and also to help use sports to achieve our station's goal of building community. Today, I'm pleased to welcome three players from the Framingham State women's basketball team, Reagan Mulhern, a senior, Lauren Donahue, another senior, and Tiffany Harris, a junior. Ladies, it's great to have you here. It's great, great to be here. Uh, well, why don't we start by uh, having each of you tell a little bit about the way you uh, kind of grew up with basketball and how you ended up on the Framingham State basketball team. Well, I started basketball probably around five, six years old. My family's always been like into sports, so they were like, what do you want to play? So I chose basketball. Everyone else was baseball, softball. I was like, nope. Going basketball. You have brothers and sisters? Yes, but I'm the oldest. You're the oldest. Okay. So they all follow suit, and I okay. got them all into basketball, okay. too. And so do you challenge them now? Oh, yeah. They yeah. think that they always think they're better than me. They always <laughs> will. <laughs> One on ones every day, but, all the time. But, but I have to show okay. them. I have and, to show and, them. And so, how did you end up at Framingham State? I transferred in my sophomore year. Oh, I played where? in Oklahoma really? my freshman year for a junior college, uh, Division II. And then I was coming back, didn't really, didn't really fit well there. So mm -hmm. when I was coming back, my coach now, mm -hmm. my something happened and then we connected and he was like, why don't you come here, look at the place, we're a great team, meet all the players, see how you like it. It was automatic fit, I love it. Well, 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 it. well you told me before you're from Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And from where? In, uh, Baldwinville, Massachusetts. Oh, I found that on a map once. All the way out west <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so this, was, this has been a great trend. So, so you played, this is your second year at Framingham now or your third? This is my third. Okay. So my senior year, but my last year, but it's mm -hmm. been, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I love it here. Great well, fit. That's great. Uh, Lauren, how, how did you happen to end up here? Did, did you start playing at four too? <laughs> I didn't actually. Did? Um, I started playing basketball, I'm pretty sure in like third grade. My dad, That's close enough. Yeah, he never <laughs> let me play when I was like way younger because he, I guess, was never good at basketball. So he was like trying to make me play soccer and softball, but I never really liked that as much. Mm -hmm. um, and then I started out playing basketball, and I just loved it. Just kept playing. And so, and so, did you play in high school? You, you, you told me you are from Attleboro. Attleboro. But I actually went to Bishop Feeton High School. Oh, in okay. Attleboro. And, and, and did you play there on the high school team? Yes, I actually, during middle school, I played pretty much all the positions because mm -hmm. I was always like a bigger body. And then I got to high school and they're like, okay, you're going to be the point guard. So really? I went from playing like the four <laughs> to playing the one and running okay. the show. But yeah. And is that what you do at Framingham State now? Yes, I've been the point guard since, I mean, my freshman year I started, I think a couple, like nine games or something like that, nine or ten. And I've been starting ever since. That's great. Yeah. And, uh, and Tiffany, you... You, you came to Framingham all the way from? Revere. Revere. Yeah. <laughs> way out on the East Coast. So, 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 yeah. so, so what made you come to the Wild West of Framingham? Um, well, I kind of struggled with like a college pick for me because I wasn't sure if I wanted to come or not. But um, basketball was like my number one thing I wanted to do. So no matter what school I wanted to go to, I wanted to be definite in playing. Um, my dad like encouraged me to go and play because it would be really fun. But the reason why I came here was um, my sister actually came here the year before, so I was able to see the campus and I fell in love with it. And then meeting Coach, it just made everything so much better and I knew it was going to be a great fit for me. That's great. So so did you grow up from 4 or 10 or something playing basketball? <laughs> yeah, I've been playing yeah. since I could probably walk and hold the basketball. <laughs> I mean, basketball, I always thought for, for young kids, is such a tough sport to get into because the ball's so big. Right. Oh, yeah. And then the hoop is so high and it's very frustrating when you can't throw it. Although, although maybe your folks brought you those little... Things where you could well, that's where the granny shot comes in. A granny shot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought it was for old people like me. <laughs> uh, 
Well, women's basketball, I mean, that's something that in, in my lifetime is, is a major change on the horizon. The thought that when, when I was, even when I was in college, of course, that was eons ago, but, but, but the, the thought that there'd be 25,000 people in, in a big stadium watching the national women's final on ESPN with huge TV ratings was just something I never understood. But how, how do you think this, the, this all got so popular? Well, uh -huh. I remember a few years back talking to my great grandma when she played. It was okay. six on six or something right, like the that. Right, three on each side of the court. She would stay on this side and would only play defense, and right. there would be a whole team going for offense. Yeah. She said it's so crazy to see that now you play <laughs> everything. You right. play both offense right. and defense. So uh -huh. I think that was, I think uh -huh. bringing that out and yeah. that aspect really uh -huh. made the game uh -huh. take off. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think that. Um, basketball like women's basketball is such a strong like team sport and it's kind of fun to watch because I feel like the teams are always super close like all, everybody's like cheering for each other like pumping each other up I think it's fun uh -huh. do you have any insights Tiffany about um I guess like kind of going off base of them it's kind of like well boys were able to play basketball but then girls had a tough time becoming part of a basketball team or being able to play with the boys because they're so much more physical but now that we have two different teams we're able to show that we can play right uh, i bet sometime in your life somebody told you that basketball would be, you kind of touched it basketball is a boys game right yeah oh okay. and, yeah, and definitely you should be doing time. something else right all the time mm -hmm. I, I remember taking yeah. my granddaughter to a basketball game at one time and asking her when the, i said would you rather be in the cheerleaders the band or playing she said play. But, uh, Always. but then she yeah. got a into it a little older, and it was kind of a very physical game. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I know, Tiffany, you're the rebounder <laughs> on this team. And, uh, and, and so talk to me about the physical nature of women's basketball. It, it looks so simple and sweet. They pass the ball, they shoot it. But I am so wrong, right? <laughs> right, this is completely wrong. Under, especially being a rebounder, I mean, we all are rebounders, but sure. like, we're mainly the big uh, players are down at the post. So we're constantly rebounding. We're getting elbows. We're getting pushed. Like, I don't know. But if you ever watch a game or you see me, I'm always on the floor. I always come with the new bruise. Like, <laughs> it's very, very physical. Do you have even a nickname because of that? It doesn't. <laughs> I, I wish should. I did. She you know, should. Blue or something. <laughs> I wish I did. Uh, yeah, I mean, and, 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 and the game is different from, from the men's game. We, we touched on some of that. One of the things I've really noticed to me is that free throw shooting is so much better in the women's games. I mean, right. I look at the percentages of a game, there's usually like 85, 90 percent. Okay. Yeah. We're shooters. You're shooters. Oh, yeah. we're shooters. We love, yeah. that's, that's another thing about it, like uh -huh. the difference from women's to men's, if you mm -hmm. see it. Yeah. Everyone on the women's team can have range and shoot. Right. Uh -huh. it's, right. it's what we're here for. Uh -huh. <laughs> So, uh, so, so you we all played last year, mm -hmm. and this is we're, we're we're interviewing this at the very start of the season th this year. And you had a great season last year. You were twenty-one and five, or twenty-one and six, or something like that. Yes. And uh, so, uh, do you think that's going to continue this year? You. Oh I yeah. Hope so. uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. You, know, you told me you lost a couple key players, and we lost. We did. And you got some younger Definitely. players playing. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. But they, I mean, they worked all summer. Uh -huh. They, you can, you can already, even now, you can see where they were last year. Mm -hmm. You can already see. Are the these difference. freshmen or sophomores? Sophomores. Sophomores, sophomores. who are on the, Is there a freshman team at Framingham State? That's, no, they're they're on no. the team yeah. too, okay. and they're they play too. Oh yes, mm -hmm. they're very and, hard. And, and so the team is how big? About fifteen players. Fifteen. Yeah. Fifteen. 15. 15. 15. And, and does the coach try to get most everybody in a game? Is that? If he no. can. If he can. can. Yeah, if it's it eighty-one depends. to forty. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That kind of a game. Everyone gets in. Yeah. He's very big on if you work hard, you deserve a spot. So. Well, well, um, we we we. Uh, you were telling me before that your big rival is Westfield. Oh yeah. yeah. And that's because. Oh, the, the, that's the funnest game of the whole season. Okay. That's the one we get pumped for the whole season. Everybody yeah. knows about it. Everybody. They're Everyone the second comes. best team in the conference. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It okay. usually comes down to us too. A head to head really? every time. Yes. Uh -huh. Well, we have a couple of videos. We have one of. Uh, I know, I, know, I know you were, the, the videos that I've seen anyway of, Ray, of you, Reagan, is you seem to be the sniper on the team. Yeah. Uh, Depends on the day. I, I would <laughs> like to day. say I that. Think we, uh, I, think we, uh, I think we have a highlight shot that you made last year, but we'll, we'll, we'll quickly show that. And, and, and have, watch this on the screen here. And uh, this is the one, the, is this the one? Yeah, there it is at the buzzer. That was against Mass College of Liberal Arts. Yes. And, and that won the game. Oh yeah, yep. There's probably not a better feeling than, than that when, when you hit one yeah. of those, is oh, it? Oh, it's, it's great.
I, I still think I watch the video all the time. Not gonna <laughs> I, lie. I don't not gonna you. lie. I mean, uh, when, when you let it go, did, did you? Have, I mean, as a shooter, when I used to play, when I, you let it go, if you get the right feeling on your fingertips, you can feel it, right? Well, all right. So, <laughs> I wanted, I wanted the shot. Yeah. So I was confident it was going to go in, but then when I saw it in the air, <laughs> I was a little iffy uh. because it was, if you can see wasn't the best looking shot at all. I it was, was a bit of a prayer, but it, oh, yeah. uh, but the end result. It was a chuck up. <laughs> it right up there. That's great. But I yeah. mean, we won. So. But you won, and so, Can't and go so, back everybody, on that. And so everybody bought you uh, Cokes in the dining hall. For the <laughs> yeah, I no, wish I they would. Yeah, <laughs> you wish, huh? Oh, oh. But no, I love so, winning. So Well, who doesn't, right? Yeah. Right. So uh, I think we have another video of, uh, of, of uh, two videos, actually, of your game against Westfield which had an exciting rally and which also had a couple of key shots by uh, my favorite sniper over here. <laughs> here we go here. Oh, we had some sound with this one. Oh, there it goes. Reedable Heron, it's good. Reagan Ball Heron, a much needed three-pointer. Okay. Uh, you, you feel free to talk to him. So, okay, now, now you got good defense here. I like the positioning. Oh, yeah. And you play man-to-man -man mostly here? Yeah, mostly. Yeah. Most Last of the year. games all the time, uh -huh. pretty much. Yeah. Oh, We're very and this girl, good and, and is that you defending one of those there? Yeah, right. she just grabbed that Okay, you got the rebound, yeah. and that goes down. And this is... Uh, Goes the basket, steps Brady. through, shot is Going good. Going to the basket and <laughs> making the score. Well, gets it to 64, 62. 63 to 62. And, uh, with four minutes and 20 oh, seconds. Oh, and there's now a steal. Oh, yeah. Quinn O'Connell in the passing lane, all alone in the basket. Layup is good. And Framingham State yeah. with a 64 to 63 lead. Fast and and, and, and so you came all the way back. I mean, and it's fairly near the end the of the game here. And so, mm -hmm. so when you have a rally like that, does the psychology just kind of take over? You know, you're down seven or something and you think you're gonna, it's the feeling of losing is, is that beginning to creep in? Yes, yeah, you, you don't yeah, want to let it yeah, creep in, but. And then all of a sudden the something happens, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody hits a shot and it goes in or you steal the ball and. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing about our team last year, we were so, like even this year we're very close as a team, but last year, it didn't matter what we did. If we dove on the ground for a play and it still ended up to be the other team's ball, we were off the bench almost running right. onto the court mm -hmm. crazy so that made that made us be like oh my gosh let's go like this yeah. is awesome right. like being on the court during big moments like that like there's no better feeling like passing the ball to Reagan having her hit a big three there's no better feeling but when you turn to the bench and see all the people that work hard every day at practice but don't necessarily get to like right. be on the floor for those moments but still feeling it the same way that you do like you can see them all jumping up and down like doing crazy stuff like it's, it's just an awesome. it's a great feeling yeah. it's awesome and, and sometimes a big rebound i think probably has as much impact i mean you know when when when, when you pull one down <laughs> off the boards and when when it when, when it looked like they were going to get it or something and, right. and, oh yes. and yeah and what, what what's that feeling like i mean and, and I mean, what are you honestly, thinking then? like it's just like a this just has such a good feeling to it that, like, okay, knowing that you get the rebound, you're able to, like, push the ball up and help your teammates and then be able to get down on the floor and hopefully get the ball to score or, like, just make good passes when you're down there. Like, mm -hmm. that's what it's more mm -hmm. about. And, and, uh, and, and Lauren, you're, you're the point guard. So, so, so when she, she grabs one of these rebounds, if she can get it out to you or somebody quickly gets it to you, right? Now you yeah. got this big court in front of you, <laughs> yeah. and you got her down in the corner hoping you're going to throw her the ball. Oh, oh you, I, oh, I, but I But there's other people on the team who like to get the ball, too. <laughs> so, you, you know, you've got your head up. and yeah. so Talk to me about that moment. Um, I usually have in the back of my mind, like, an option A, B, and C. Like, I'm looking to either attack myself, I'm looking to drive and kick, hit, and hit one of my shooters, mm -hmm. or I'm looking to attack and hopefully one of my post players will be opened underneath the basket. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to like always have like several different options depending on how the defense reacts. This is, this, this is just great discussion. And, 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 and now we've got coming up a video, a little longer video, of kind of a rally that, that we talked about here. And uh, this, is, this is against Westfield again. And now you're, uh, oh no, this is the, uh, yep, this, that's, yep. there it is. Yep. Oh, that's, yeah. The, that, that, yeah, this followed the rally. That's right. Yep. And, and uh, they come down the court. And, 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 and I, love the de I love the defensive positioning here. And uh, see, are, are all three of you in this right now? Yes. yes. Okay, and there's the shot. Oh, okay, now look where you are. Now, now uh, who, no, number 20 we can see. That's me. That's Lauren. That, that, that's you, okay. Mm -hmm. And you're looking at that ball and the game is pretty much over. You, you got a three-point lead. 
Uh, and and Tiffany, where where are you? And, uh, I'm like kind of in the middle. I'm 21. Oh, okay. Coming you're you're kind of side. buried under the basket there. Well, trying to, you're, you're you're trying to push that other uh, rather tall player who's bigger than you away, right? <laughs> yeah. It, 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 that that's you, right? Yeah, I'm like out further. I'm not as close under the basket. Like I'm oh, just okay. starting to go in. Okay. And uh, and Reagan, you you can't throw a prayer in from here. So what are you thinking? <laughs> um, I think that might be you. No, yeah, that's big girl. me, right in the middle yeah. of the paint. Oh, okay. Trying, trying to, to body oh, that girl. Trying to body that girl. To. Trying to. Yeah. yeah. And have you obviously that did because you you won this game, right? Yes. Right. Oh yeah, but I always try to body people that are bigger than me. It doesn't ever work out. Yeah, we have to. I, mean, <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Well, but I mean, this is the time that you beat Westfield. Yes. Oh yes. And, yes, uh, yes. and, and was that one of your better moments of last year? Yes. Oh yes. Yeah. Love. And then the worst moment is it. is when they beat you in the finals of the mm -hmm. tournament. Yes. Oh yeah. How, how did that happen? I mean, you you beat them here. Well, we don't. We didn't lose at home. Oh, you didn't last have the season home at crowd. all. We right. didn't. I think we lost one time the year before. So like that was one of our sayings. Mm -hmm. We always said like we don't lose at home, and I okay. mean it was true. For I'm pretty sure we won like 19 so out of 20 games. Half. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. At home, so, but so, so we do get great fan support. We really yeah. do. And it makes a difference. Yes. Oh yeah. And and you really want more Framingham citizens like like me to come up and with my cowbell and. Yeah. <laughs> we would love we that. We would right? love that. Yeah. 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 I don't have a cowbell. <laughs> my, 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 my daughter's <laughs> filming this. Maybe she'll buy me one for Christmas. That'd be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's just talk. You, you you are students at the school. Let's talk about your academic experience here at Framingham State. What what, what what's your major? In the well, I was biology when I first okay. came in, and I just recently changed to finance. Okay. So, it's going. All right. <laughs> I mean, All right. I like money. I like math, but I always say this: I always came to school to play ball. So. Okay. <laughs> and and you're gonna play ball after? I would love. I have one more year after to go to school to continue. So oh. academically, I'm a junior and playing, I'm a senior. Mm -hmm. So my next year, I'm gonna focus on like training. I'm trying to go play overseas. Oh, okay. Yeah, so okay. That, that's oh. my biggest goal mm -hmm. I would love to do because mm -hmm. I can't I see think myself. a lot of college players do, do, do oh, that yeah. even. Yeah. I couldn't see myself stop right. playing. Uh, yeah, and especially if you've been at a, at a D3 school, it'll give you a chance to, to really move up in a competitive yes. level. Uh, what about you, Lauren? What, what are you doing academically? Um, I'm studying math. I originally was math with secondary education, and then I decided to just continue studying math. So I'm mm -hmm. going to get my degree in mathematics. So, so you're going to be an actuary. That's what everyone keeps telling me to really? do. Really? <laughs> my my father really thought I would be that once, and I flunked an actuarial preference test. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't looked into it much, but yeah. hopefully And, and Tiffany, you're only a junior, so you're major, you, you've yeah. declared a major, right? I have declared a major. Um, my first year, I was elementary ed with geography, but now I am just a geography major. Mm -hmm. So I'm just hoping to be able to travel with this major mm -hmm. and visit all the different kind of cultures that are out there. Mm -hmm. Do any of you have graduate schools in your mind? Or if you're going to be a math major, <laughs> then you probably have to I do need that, to do right? something, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've been thinking about it. I haven't uh -huh. um, thought of anything like too set in stone, mm -hmm. but I yeah. definitely will have well, to go back. Sometimes it's great to work in between, too. Yeah. Uh, so we're, let's see, we, we, we got some time left here. You, I understand you uh, just played in a tournament up at Keene State. Yes. This was like your third and fourth, second and third games of the year. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and who'd you play there? Uh, Friday we played Keene, and then yesterday we played Babson. Okay. You played Babson? Oh, I thought you played Springfield. Oh, no, no Babson. Babson. Oh. Very good so, team. Very and, good. And, and, and they beat you? By one point. By one yeah. point? One point. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's <laughs> not easy. <laughs> nope. Yeah. It was a great game. Right. Great game. Right. Uh-huh. But. Mm -hmm. so, so they're in a similar conference to you, right? So. They're, they're, they're Division Three. They're, yes. they're, they're not yes. in the yes. MC. Yes, in the new MAC. Yeah, right. And and so what happened? How what? How do you lose a game by one point? <laughs> do you foul somebody at the end, or somebody the ref makes a bad call, or yeah, somebody hits a prayer. Or oh yeah, that was all of the above. All of <laughs> all of the above yeah. on uh -huh. this. It was back and forth the whole time. It was mm -hmm. just a matter of who can finish the game mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the timing. Yeah. It was just bad timing. Yeah, yeah. basketball is a game of runs, and they kind of had the momentum going into That's the end, That's what we talked about say. before, yeah. right? Did, did they have more fans there than you did? Or no. did the people in Keene State not like you because you beat their team the night before? Oh, no, they liked us. They gave us pizza. Oh, well, they did? <laughs> yeah. And T-shirts. And T-shirts. Okay. So. And, and you were telling me before about all the bruises that you got. Yeah. In this physical game. It was very physical, um, uh -huh. especially underneath grabbing boards. 
Right. Did they have players that were taller? Was their team taller? Um, yeah, there was a couple players taller. They were the mm -hmm. same height. Um, probably the same. Are you the me. tallest player on Framingham? Or? Uh, no, there's yeah. another girl that's probably a couple inches taller than me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, but Tiff rips rebounds. <laughs> she and, got a you double have a, uh, and, and you have a trip to Florida coming up, I understand, yes. over Christmas. Oh, yes. Uh, so so how, how did you have to, how, did, did, did you or the coach have to negotiate that oh, with the administration? Us. He he's just been, told you, huh? He, he's, he's been telling me since he was recruiting me as a senior in high school that he was going to take oh, the team okay. away. Oh, all right. And we're finally That's doing it uh -huh. our senior year. Do you have any idea who you're going to play? Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure the schedule's already out. I'm, I think mm -hmm. it's a tournament where it depends on who we actually we might be playing I think it might be a team from Pennsylvania I like think our York. first game is and then yeah. it depends on sure of course after that yeah. but, but it, 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 are there like eight how many games are you gonna play there two, two. Oh, oh, oh just two mm -hmm. and we're down there for I think five or six days what? so yeah that sounds like a junket he wants yeah. to yeah. come on you're gonna, get, you're gonna probably get, probably gonna get sunburned and oh, I don't that's what well. we want <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're going for uh -huh. he's taking so. us to Universal on New Year's Eve mm -hmm. oh how cool so yeah. we're gonna have we're so excited. much fun yeah, yeah, yeah well you're gonna come home with more bruises yeah, yeah definitely maybe we were at Disney on New Year's Eve one time I think I even got a bruise by some five year old who tripped me or something oh yeah what a that, that yeah. would be us, no well, doubt. Well, 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 that all sounds pretty exciting. Well, let's talk about as a fan, uh, for me to want to come to one of your games. You know, the newspaper doesn't tell me when the games are, and uh, I, I always thought well, I could never find a parking place up at Framingham State. Uh, and, and, and you play in this nice gym, and uh, oh, yeah. so so. Any, any clues as to how, do you have a website with your schedule? Yeah, yes, I do have a website. It's um, FSU. Mm -hmm. Is it FSU Rams? Yeah, yeah FSU, FSU Rams. FSU Rams.edu or dot com. Yes. FSU Rams. Dot com. Yes. Com. Yes. And, and and oh, when when so, so when I get there to see one of your games, are there often double headers with the men? Yeah, every single yeah. Um, league game is a double header. Okay. So I believe that last year we played after them, so they switch it this year. So we'll play before the men, and then mm -hmm. the year after it just switches every. Is year the men's now. team any good? They're pretty good. They're getting better. Are they getting I think better? Yeah. I think their record improved last uh -huh. year from the year before. Oh, yeah, uh, do you ever scrimmage against them? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no? Oh, you should. <laughs> They're afraid to. They're a little I'm bit sure. bigger than us. They're afraid <laughs> to. I think. Yeah. No, but no, but you shoot better. You shoot better free throws. You got more spirit. <laughs> I bet you. I bet you. I bet you do a lot better than what you think they do. And they'd think it was going to be an easy game until all of a sudden they were behind nine to one. I mean, yeah. you know. Hey, yeah. wait a minute! We better wake up. Uh, so, so, um, so, uh, let's. This is a Framingham TV station. What do you like about going to school in Framingham? Do you, do you have fun in Framingham doing anything? Oh, I love it. So, mm -hmm. so why? Well, I love. I just love the campus in general. It's, well, that's the college. I'm, I'm talking about the oh, town. Oh, in general? Yeah, no. Do you do anything in the town? Do you, oh, uh, yeah. We have you go to the mall. Do you go to the movies. Mm -hmm. You uh, had scavenger. You have any favorite? You have any scavenger. favorite restaurants? <laughs> Cheesecake. Cheesecake. Cheesecake, yeah. yeah. Taco Bell. Oh, uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> sushi. Mall sushi. Uh -huh. Sushi. Okay. Uh, sushi. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right. So, yeah, so Framingham does have that to, uh, to offer. And uh, so, uh, do you, do you, are you sports fans? Oh, mm -hmm. big sports yes. fans. Women's basketball? Let's, let's start with that. Okay. College or WNBA? Well, let's start with college. UConn. So, so, so yeah, do you cheer yeah. against UConn or, or do you really like them because they're so good? Oh, I'm like obsessed with them. <laughs> because? <laughs> they're just the best. And, Gino and, is the best in the whole world. <laughs> yeah, right. So, 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 uh, so uh, why do you think that, 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 that he gets these top? Every year I see the number one high school player ends up going there. Any, because, I mean. You want to be a part of that. You, you want to be, be a part, part of, of that team that yeah. dominates everyone. Yeah. I think that's uh -huh. every little girl's dream who plays basketball yeah. is to eventually play on UConn. W wouldn't you want to be yeah. on the team that beats them? Yeah. 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 I mean, that I must mean, feel even better. I mean, look at Mississippi State last year. I know, right? they well, probably Wasn't that were. a great moment? This little short girl she threw in so this good. shot. At the, yeah, she it was great. Mm -hmm. She was so uh, and, small. And, and, and so do you follow the WNBA, too? A little bit. A little bit um, yeah. Maya Moore. Maya Moore, Is okay. my girl, so. Yeah, okay. And what about you? You too. Um, I love Skylar Diggins. I loved watching her at oh, Notre Dame. She was Dame. Notre Dame, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, okay. I loved watching her. I haven't watched as much of the WNBA as mm -hmm. I do college women's basketball, uh -huh. but I still. Do you watch? Do you like anybody beside you? Every, every if, if UConn's on, that's the game you want to watch, right? I mean, I would rather watch Notre Dame. I think. Oh, I, okay. I mean, I love UConn. I do. Notre love Dame UConn. has a chance to beat them. Yeah. That, that's I, why. I, I love mean, that. I grew up in Connecticut, but I went to. 
school in, in Massachusetts, so, mm -hmm. so I have uh, graduate school at UMass. Well, UConn's sort of my enemy after I went mm -hmm. there. And, and, I, you know, and I didn't like the Yankees as a kid growing up because they always won. Mm. So I kind of have that feeling about UConn a little bit. But, but, but I do admire what they do. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So, so, yeah, so, uh, so are you a basketball fan off, off um, the court? Yeah, of course. Um, I watch more of the NBA than I do the WNBA. Uh -huh. yeah. So, like, I mean, I'm more of a Celtics fan. That's, like, my hometown. Um, mm -hmm. And I do have certain players that I, like, I really do love and how they play because they, you can just see, like, in practices and everything, like, mm -hmm. how much they work for it. So, so, so well, give me your list of your <laughs> favorite players. My favorite? Um, I do love Kyrie. Mm -hmm. um, just, he's just an awesome uh, point guard and everything. Like, he sees the floor. He's able to finish at the hoop. Um, this is probably going to go against me with you guys, but LeBron James, he has... <laughs> <laughs> he, he fits into the UConn he, thing. Oh. He's just the best. I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, oh, he's one of these like, players. Yeah, I mean, I don't like him personally, but like as a basketball player, he knows I, what I, he's doing. I, 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 I relate yes. to that completely. And yeah. yeah. It's the, uh, it's, the, uh, it, it's the when it's the when there's a moment he's there if they need a rebound. Right. Mm -hmm. um, he is the player. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, we were talking a little bit before going on about kind of being in the moment. Uh, I had the swimming the, the swimmers on and and they told me that they like to embrace fatigue. Mm -hmm. What kind of a motto does your coach instill in you? Well, the one that this year has been really that's been told to us what every practice uh -huh. has is. been. Be bigger than your excuse. Oh, I love it. Be stronger than your excuse. Be stronger than your excuse. Yes, and that's our whole thing this year is our mental toughness and everything. So what would your excuse be? You're tired. You're, you're tired. injured. Okay. Uh, you're sick. You're missing your shots. You're missing. Like, turning the ball. Be bigger over. than your excuse. Yeah. Be in the right. moment. Oh, that's going down on my list. I've got three great items now for <laughs> for my master list here of. Uh, Framingham State. Um, let's see. Well, we've been through the videos. We've been through school. Um, let's just talk a little bit about um, uh, going to uh, basketball games. Do you, do, you, do you go to other teams' basketball games? Or? Not really. No, in no. Our no. Been to, have you been to a Celtics game? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. of course. Okay. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and do you watch other sports? You. Oh, I was warned about you. You, you, you have another <laughs> basketball team that you like. Oh yes. Go ahead, say it. Okay, I like, I, I the, I like the Lakers. She likes the, I Lakers. Like the Lakers. And you like the Lakers because? Because I like the Ball family. The Ball family, okay. Oh, so. Probably one of the only ones who would say it, but. So you're not into, into, into role models. Well, oh, I don't look up to them. I no. think they're hilarious. Okay, sort of like <laughs> the Kardashians. They give me a chuckle. Yes. Yes. The Kardashians of basketball. The Kardashians oh, I love, Okay, basketball. I love the Kardashians, too, so you got well, me on yeah, it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, the, the big saying in Boston for years when it always is, beat L.A., right? Because oh, yeah. back when it was Magic against Larry. Oh, I um, want us to beat them still. So. Yeah. Oh, oh, good. Oh, All I right. want us to crush oh, them. Oh, bingo. Okay. And, and were you glad they beat Golden State the other night? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Did you watch that game? Or I did I no? saw some of the highlights. Yeah. Curry right. didn't do anything. No. No, I know. He they, had boy, less they than 10 down. points. Yeah. Wasn't it like yeah. it was the first game that the Warriors have scored like less than 100 right. points having their like, yeah. big four yeah. or something like yeah. that. So yeah, that's, a, that's like a lot points. of things yeah. about so, the Celtics. So, so, so are you guys defenders too? Is that your goal to hold the other team under? Yeah. Our, we've so always been... Defense first. That's yes. his, our coach's yeah. biggest thing and he's drilled it in our heads and I, yeah. I believe we're one of the best. We have okay. really good defense, I believe. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. our, offense comes from our defense because mm -hmm. we're a pretty like up-tempo fast-paced mm -hmm. team so if we get stops steals okay. rebounds and stuff like right. that it's how our offense well you know this conversation could go on a lot longer <laughs> oh, yeah. i'd love to get you into, into the moment some more about basketball but it, it's really been terrific having you on and thank you so much and and i as a fan am definitely going to be up there and and and, and you've convinced me that framingham state women's basketball is a go thing to do so thank you so much of course it was you, great being you, here thank you, you you guys have been terrific and this has been a lot of fun so thank, thank you all for tuning in to framingham fan to fan i'm dave hornfisher and stay tuned for more framingham fan to fan